Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to store values um, for a variable. So, for example, let's say um, let's say I want to store the value b. Okay, so right now if I enter b, it has a value of zero. And now, let me explain where this is helpful. Like, um, let's say I'm doing Pythagorean theorem problems, and remember that that is going to be a squared. Um, plus b squared, whoops, got to go second b, quit that, uh, a squared plus b squared. So I'm going to hit second alpha b and then square that, right? Now if I hit enter, I'm going to get zero because there's no value for a and no value for c. But now if I wanted to find the hypotenuse, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So what I could do is I could plug in this formula. I could say um, a squared, right, right, and take the whole square root of it. So I would say second alpha a squared plus second b squared. And again, I'm still going to get zero. But now I can store values in for a and b. So if I'm doing homework and I got to do like 10 Pythagorean theorem problems. I could simply go three, then hit the store button, then choose A. Now what that does is it stores the value of three for A. Now let's do the same thing for B. So I'm going to say four store second alpha B. That's actually alpha not second. Okay. Now what that means is now when I enter in A, my calculator views that as the number three, and now when I enter in B, my calculator views that as four. Now notice this is not the same as a matrix operation because matrices are in brackets. This is just the letter. But if I go to second entry and I go back up here to my original formula, okay, now when I calculate this, what it's going to do is it's going to evaluate this, but it's going to evaluate it as A squared or 3 squared plus B, which is 4, and it's going to evaluate the numerical values, and I should get 5. See how that works? And so now if I want to do the next problem, I would say like 6 store A. Whoops, <laughs> i got to remember to hit the right button. So I would say 6 store alpha and then a okay and then I would say um, 8 store alpha B and then just by coming over here to this original thing and if I hit enter while that's highlighted okay it'll automatically do it and now I should get 10 and so what it did is it evaluated with the value of 6 for a in other words it plugged in 6 for a and it plugged in 8 for B. 